In this video, you'll learn how to send an email reminder to a user whose subscription trial period is about to end. So, I have a sample membership site all set up with MemberPress. If I go to MemberPress and Memberships, you can see I have two membership levels, and both of them include a seven-day free trial, which you can see here under Terms. So, for my example, I'm going to create a reminder in MemberPress to send an email two days before my user's seven-day trial period is set to expire. And, as always, if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for all of our latest tips and tricks for running a MemberPress site. So, now, I'll go to MemberPress and Reminders. Then I'll click Add New. I'll give it a title here that describes what the reminder's for. So, in my case, two days before trial ends. Then, here under Trigger, I'll set it to two, and I'll select Days here. Then, in this dropdown, I'll select Before Subscription Trial Ends. So, it'll send my reminder email two days before a user subscription trial ends. And here, under Emails, you can set who will get these email reminders. Enabling this first checkbox will send an email to the user after the trigger event set above. And the second checkbox sends an email to you as the site admin when this occurs too. And you can enable this checkbox here to send this reminder email to only users of a specific membership or memberships. So, say I only wanted to send my reminder to my pro members, I'd select Pro here. You can hold the control key or command key on Mac to select multiple memberships. But for my example reminder, I want to make sure all my members get that email, so I'll just disable this option. Now I'll click edit next to the email that's sent to users to show you what it looks like. And here's the email. And you can make any changes you want to it. And these here are called parameters, which display dynamic content about your user. So, instead of this text here, it'll actually show the user's first name in the email. This drop-down here gives you a list of parameters you can insert into your email. Just select where you want the parameter to go, then choose which parameter you want to use, and then click Insert. Now, I'll hide the editor, and now I'll click Edit next to the email that's sent to me as the site admin. And here's what that looks like. If you change your email but want to go back to its default, just click Reset to Default here. Now, I'll click Publish here at the top to save my reminder. Then, I'll go back to the Reminders page, and I'll see my reminder has been saved here. You can click it here to delete a reminder by clicking Trash, or you can select them with these checkboxes, choose the bulk action of Trash here, and click Apply. You can edit your reminder by hovering over its name and clicking on it, or clicking Edit. I'll click on it to edit my reminder. Then, I'll come down here and click Send Test next to both of my emails. This will send a copy of the email to you as a site admin so you can preview it. Then, I'll open my email, and here's my admin email. And here's what my email to users looks like. You've now seen how to remind members when their subscription trial periods are about to end. See our knowledge base for more info on setting reminders in MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.